Well, look at these children of the corn. December. And what are we doing? We're going camping. Uh, yearly winter camp. This year it's going to be a Christmas camp because we're doing it before Christmas. Now, last year we did it after Christmas. So I'm just getting myself suited and booted. Is the camera on? The camera's on. I'm going to go and meet Victo, aka the motorway in Worcester. Me and Vic are the only ones doing it. Nobody else is up for the challenge. So, I would also like to say to the goose, the man himself, happy birthday, brother. 5th of December, goose's birthday today. I wanted to say happy birthday to a special friend. I mean, special because have you seen the face on him? This look at this, he's got a face like a pigeon and a neck like a pencil and his legs look like a piece of string hanging out his shorts Happy birthday goose face You're a muppet You're an empty And next time I see ya I'm gonna smut your face in Happy birthday I don't know how old he is I think he's about 67 something like that But he's looking good for his age you know Here's Vic Oh Vic Oh, he's brought me a bike. What are we on? It's showing 11 degrees. Oh, that's not too bad. Considering the weather, so that it's hoist, it was going to be four today. Right, so we're on our way. Motorway, we're coming to meet you. So this little place we're going to is called the Old Bush. Or the Old Bush Inn, I can't remember. And story with this place it's a tiny little pub in a little village in Worcester and it's got a little shop attached to it and it's also got a little calf attached to it so we can have a meal we've got electric so we can have our heaters on it's got hot showers if so we decide we need a hot shower in the middle of the night to warm up but apart from that there's everything we need there's nothing more required apart from the good company of Mr Motorway himself so on that note, I'm going to hand you over to Motorway, see what he's got to say. And I'm going to listen to a bit of Elvis. See you in a bit. Okay, right, well here we go, I think I've finally got everything ready, Just setting off now, we're going to meet up with Maverick at the Mitre Oak, I don't know, I, he might be there before me this time, I might, I might be a bit late, bike feels really different with all this stuff on. Well, we're lucky with the weather after the uh, last couple of days. Yesterday wasn't quite as bad, but Thursday it just rained non stop. So at least we won't be putting the tents up in the rain. Yeah, it looks like I might be a couple of minutes late. So, oh, never mind. No guarantee he'll already be there. And nobody else. Uh, showed too much interest in coming. I know Alby would have come if he'd have been able to by the sound of it, but uh, Steve might have come down in his, try out his new van, but he's got a few things on, so as in the last one, it's just me and Maverick. Feels very strange being on the bike again now, it's been so long. I think it's about three, three and a half weeks since I last went out. And then it was only just Kidderminster and back. A lot of people think we're nuts and I've got to say I'm pretty inclined to agree with them. 
probably agree more at about one o'clock in the morning, freezing to death. Wise men say only fools rush in can order because I love you too much, baby. What a beautiful day! What a beautiful day! We weren't expecting this. It was forecast cloud today. Yesterday it was absolutely hammering it down. All day long, non stop. And it snowed last night. You look, 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 look. I saw you looking the other way. Open your eyes. Yeah. Gorgeous day. And to be honest with you, it's not that cold. What are we down to? Well, we are down to five degrees now. I've got to say, I'm nice and warm. I've already got my white jeans on and my thermals underneath that. I've got no winter trousers on. I've got just a hoodie on underneath my jacket. And I'm feeling good. I think we might be a bit early for motorway. The only problem with this sun so low and the road's a bit damp and shiny, you can't tell whether it's just damp or whether it's mud. And I've got to say, I'm enjoying a bit of Elvis at the minute. Oh ho ho! Oh ho ho! Oh, absolutely stunning day. That's Malvern Hills over there, you can see on the horizon. Right. Hold on. I need to wipe my nose. My nose is running and it's tickling my lip. Ah! You know, like you did as a kid, and you see the kids, and I'm. It's running all on the lip, and I'll lick it off. <laughs> So I'm trying out at the moment, well not trying out, this will be the second time. Uh, my new tent, my Slummit Cub 2. So I've got the little two-man tent, the quick pop-up tent. I'd had enough of these tents where you've got to build all the poles, it was doing me head in. I wanted something quick to put up. Uh, there was three tents to choose from. There was this, the Slummit Cub 2. There was the Coleman, which is what motorways got. And then there was the... Oh, what's it called? The third one. Kayam. Kayam, I think it's called. And then there was the Kayam tent. So, Kayam, fantastic tent. But stupidly priced, I think. It was over... Way over 200 quid, I think, for the little two-man tent. And it was 300... Yeah, 300... Is it static something? The waterproofness? 300 hydrostatic, that was it. 3,000. 3,000 hydrostatic. It was a Coleman. Now, the one motorway has got the Coleman. That's 3,000 hydrostatic. But the one I've got, the Slummit Cup 2, is 4,000 hydrostatic. So that's, that's a bonus. Yeah. I don't know what, how exactly a 1,000 more hydrostats work out. But if it's more... It's got to be better if it's, if it's to do with waterproof. Now, the tent motorway's got is the same tent Goose has got. Theirs is the same, a little two-man pop-up tent. Brilliant tent. The only reason I didn't go for their tent was their tent only has one skin. Where my tent has got the, the outer shell skin and it's got the inner one, got the fly net thing inside. And the only thing I didn't like about the Coleman well, I heard a lot of reviews of people saying you get a lot of condensation on the inside of the tent because it's a single skin. So I thought I don't want condensation running down the tent. So I went for the Slummit. It looked the best. Uh, I used it when we did our Wales weekend up. Me and Trent was in it with a double airbed and it was absolutely brilliant. Absolutely perfect. So I do need to do a full length review on this tent. I want to do a video of how quick it is to set up and go through all the specifications but I thought I need to use it a few times before I can do that review in case it turns out rubbish there's no point with doing a review of the tent saying how good it is and then after using it it wasn't very good so I thought December will be the perfect time to try any tent out and this is where we are 
December the 5th. So the only thing I might need to mention to motorway tonight is obviously he's got his electric heater with him as well but I think he I don't know if his tent's got any air vents at the top I keep pressing me on for some reason I don't know if his tent's got any air vents so he might need to leave a little gap at the top of his door because a cold night with an electric heater on inside you are going to get condensation I mean, I'm going to get condensation in mine even though mine's a double skin and I have got air vents you will still get it because the outside temperature will be that cold so I think it's going to be down to about 1 or 0 tonight so I just need to pre-warn Vic that he might need to think and take into account condensation actually it'd be worth asking him whether he got condensation when we did the Wells weekend because so if he got condensation then when he woke up he certainly is going to have it here Right, this is where we're meeting Vic, the Mitre Oak. Now, I don't even know where I'll get into it. Do I have to go all the way around? I've been to the pub plenty of times, but I've never come to the... Ah, there we go. OK, 10 to... Are we early? Let's have a drive around. Right, let's pull up here. Let's wait for Victorama. We're at the Moita Oak and we're just waiting for motorway to arrive. I imagine he's going to come from that direction. So that's where he lives down there, see the sign? Stowerport. That's where the man lives. So we've got the bike done. Let's go and have a look at the bike while we're waiting. Doesn't she look nice? She needs a wash. There's my new Slummit 2 tent. There's my sleeping bag in my top box. I've got my bed, my new camping bed. So I'm not using an air bed. I'm not using an air bed this time. I'm trying. Ugh, I'm trying a camp bed. So I'm off the floor and I ain't got to worry about blowing it up. So we will see what happens. Right. Come on, motorway. Come on, Vic. It's time for your Christmas holiday. Where are you? What time are we on? He's got two minutes to get here. I'm finding him. He'd have a fine to pay. He's got to sleep without his, without his electric heater. Come on, motorway, it's Christmas time. And you can't wait to sleep in a freezing field. At the grand old age of 75. Come on, motorway. Jeez, at this rate, I'm going to be late for work Monday. I've got to say, it's colder off the bike without my helmet on and my gloves than it is on the bike, riding in the wind. Now, I don't know if... So I've brought, can you see, this little foam protector to stop the wind noise. But if you look here, it doesn't cover the microphone. So I don't know how well it's working. I don't know whether this is just picking up wind. It was only £4 off Amazon. Got to be worth a try. And I know one thing I have forgot. I forgot to bring the belt for my trousers. My trousers keep falling down. On the 12th day of Christmas, my true love said to me, Vic will be late. On the 11th day of Christmas, my true love said to me, Vic will still be late. Oh, it'll nearly be New Year. What time have it gets here? It was, love, this is a, a New Year's camping trip, Vic, instead of a Christmas one. Of course, we're waiting too long, Vic, I'll tell you what. Let's turn this into our Easter trip. This can be our Easter holiday trip. A bit cold for Easter, but, you know, it'll do. 
Oh. Ah, here he is. Look at him, the sexy beast. Here he comes around the island. Oh, oh whoa, 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 whoa. Here he comes. He's a coming round. Here he is. Hey. <laughs> Finally, you made it, you made oh. it for Whitson. I don't know. How's it going? Merry Christmas, brother. Long time no see. <laughs> how you doing, pal? All right, mate, how are you? It has, I need to be what? August? Uh, September, when we went to the Wales weekend. Yeah, yeah, the bank holiday weekend, wasn't it? Hang on. Feels like it's been forever, doesn't it? Yeah, got to do my bloody dance now to get bloody so you're more kitted up, you're booted up. Yeah, I'll tell, tell you what, what, don't I feel bloody... Uh... <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought you was pointed at something. No, no, no. These are brilliant, aren't they, these rock drops? Yeah, great. It's looking clean, bro. Yeah, well, not for long, I don't suspect. No. Mine have been clean since... When I went out on it last, I went round Clint. Yeah. I don't think it's been properly cleaned since Normandy. No, probably not, no. No, shouldn't get what out. They say. There we are, camping in winter. Not the pair of us. We must be mad. We must be <laughs> mad. <laughs> Go on. How are you? That'd help, wouldn't it? That's it, you're on. Cushy. Right. You have to go out that way, don't you? Do you? Yeah, it says there, no exit. Oh, right, OK, that answers that then. Oh, saves, yeah. Saves me turning round. Here we are. We've motorway. For our Christmas Good afternoon, everybody. <laughs> yeah, our Christmas vacation. National Lampoon's Christmas vacation. This is going to be. That's <laughs> uh, what happens if you don't put your side stand up. I'm glad I've got this pop up tent. And I'm <laughs> yeah. won't have a night in that thing I had last time. No, you, well, don't, you don't need any messing about, do we? You just want to. Nah. Is yours a pop-up job? Yeah. Right. Ready? Sorted. Yeah. Let's do it. Ooh. Like you say, I hate this greasy road yeah. surface. We're all right after this one. Okay. Jingle bells ringing in my ear. Jingle bell, a sound that's oh so dear. Frosty the snowman is all around town. Watch out for rain, these are falling down We stay up waiting for seven tonight We climb down the chimney at the speed of light While we're dancing around the Christmas tree Hugging and kissing just you and me Sun visor action. Who would have yeah. thought, Avic, me and you, sun visors down on the 5th of December? Yeah. We didn't have any of this when we went in February, did we? <laughs> no, we certainly <laughs> didn't. Yeah, I can't wait for uh, 
for next next year's tour with uh-huh. Flash, having Flash on board, Desmo, Lessie. Yeah. It'd be, it'd be a good crack that well. Yeah, that's right. We're going to have to be even more careful about trying to stay together, aren't we? Yeah. Jeez, isn't it? It's busy up here today. It is, yeah. Obviously, more, the more getting the Christmas shopping in. Yeah. You know, while we were stood there having a chat, I could feel yeah. the air, cold air. But now we're on the bike and we're wrapped yeah. up like this, I can't feel it at all. I'll tell you what, when I was waiting for you to turn up, I said exactly that on camera. I said, I feel colder off the bike than I do on the bike. Yeah. We must have good wind protection on today. I said, I can't, yeah. feel, I can't feel the cold air whatsoever. But I've got to say, Vic, it's down to five degrees, the air temperature. And yeah. it, cert- it certainly don't feel like it. No. <laughs> but you don't. Oh, there's, oh, there's that Ducati. That used to be a calf, didn't it, that? Was it an American know. diner? Ah, yeah, American. Now, now you said that, I remember, yeah. I yeah, think it used to be a big flag outside. Yeah, I think before that it used to be a, a furniture shop. Then it was an American diner, then it was closed for years. Yeah. I saw Lettys bust his foot, didn't he? Yeah, I saw the picture yeah. in the plaster, I saw, yeah. I thought he'd come off his bike, but apparently he fell, he fell down a pothole. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I hope your legs have started to feel better, mate. Yeah, it's... Uh, I can't wait mate, to hear the story how you did it. <laughs> if, you, if you've got to do something like that, do it now and not yeah, when we're in full exactly. riding season. Or just before we're going to France again. Yeah, well, that's what he said. I think he's got six to eight weeks in that cast. Yeah. So he said, isn't it? there's a time to do it. Yeah. That's it, Callow End. This is us. There we go, Callow End. It's one of those places, I know I've seen signs for it in the past, yeah. so I just couldn't think where exactly it was. So it's a mile and a half down this road. Yeah. Far enough out of the way to be get bothered by anyone, hopefully. Yeah. Must be nearly there now. The pub must be coming up. Yeah, yeah, because this shop was just up the road. Because that's the cash point if we need. If we have to draw cash out, that's where we yeah. need to go. I found with this bloody. Uh, pandemic lot I've hardly been using any cash I just keep tapping yeah. my card everywhere that's how you easily spend more money as well isn't it yeah by, by just tapping away this is Obviously, us the pub out your bank. the pub the shop and the calf what more could you want there we are now I don't know where uh, the old bush, oh, that's well back from the road, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know where we go. Uh, no, 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 Shop and calf open. Oh, look at that. Vic, we can have a sausage sandwich in the morning. Yeah, just the job. Let it warm up a bit while we yeah. have a new sandwich and a cup of tea. Don't know if we have to check in with him first. Or yeah. What? Where should we put up? Well, oh, sure we put them. Be right just here, wouldn't it? I'm sick of them rolling back. Uh, well, we could turn into there, to the left. Hang on. I'll tell you what, go a bit further down where it's flat. Where are you going? Further down. I'm just thinking there, Vic, it's not a very good angle to be on. Uh, don't be facing downhill either, though. No. But if we put them down here by the pub, until, yeah, just over here, until we speak to someone, at least then we can find out what we're doing. What we're doing, where we're going. Well, this is it, guys. There's the pub. 
There's the calf and the shop. There's the campsite. There's a park for Vic to play on. <laughs> you ain't kidding. What more? What more do you need? Right. Let's see if we can find somebody. Camera off. We have a certified chicken tonight, Vic. Yeah. I'll tell you what we found a right little bell tree, haven't we, Vic? Yeah, this is great, isn't it? Great little pub. We've got a yeah. calf, a shop, hot showers, electric, pubs open all day long, eat a drink all day long. This is us for the night. Well, it will be. It will be. Right. Let's get set up. Right, let's put that in the ground. Okay, we've got something new. We've got something new. So this is my new bed. Right, where can I put this camera? Where can we put this? Right. Let's see how this bed works. First things first. We're going to put the poles in the end. Okay. That's one. And that's number two. So, we need now to get the legs on. Okay. That goes on there. And then the last one. on there that goes on there okay there we go there's my bed it fits 
I'm on a bit of a slope, so I might roll down the bed in the night. But we're all right. We are okay. Sun's going down now, Vic. Werewolves are coming out. We're done. We set up. Right, you want your trainers? What's this DVD you've got in here, Vic? Horse porn? <laughs> Goose says, can you have it back? <laughs> There you go, brother. Right. Let's have a little look. Let's have a little look. Let's have a look at some of these birds. The sun's set now. The sun's gone down. I'll tell you what. We have found a right little gem here. Calf. Shop. Pub. What have we got here? Hello, you. <laughs> What's that thing there? What the? It's like a velociraptor. There's Vic. He's just blowed up his bed. He's more happy this time. When we did it last year, he had a proper crap tent. Proper crap. So that's the pub. There's the pub. This is the shop. We've just been in the shop, met the owners. They am open eight in the morning till six at... There's Victor! Sort of uh, what are you doing, brother? tent type thing. You all right? Yep. Breakfast starts yeah. at eight o'clock in the morning. Oh, same. So they're open right. at eight, so. Just right. We'll have a bit of breakfast this time. We didn't get to do it last time, did we? No, we didn't. We had to drive. Went to that caff in Stourport. Yeah. Well, here we are. The sun has now set. Just the job, this side. This is, is just the job. This is, this is ideal, isn't it? It is. You know, instead you said, look, maybe next year we look at... Do we look at the little huts? Do a bit of glamping? Yeah, find out how much they are. So this is the pub. Little decking area. What time are we on now, Vic? It's a bit early to eat yet, but we might just we might need to order some it, just so we can sit, haven't we? Let's go and find out. So I'll take it. Do we have to put these on to go in? Well, we've just had our chips with our drink, haven't we? Following the rules. We're following the rules. We're being good. Me and Vic here for a lovely romantic meal. Yeah. I'm treating him. It's his early Valentine's present. Oh, yeah. I'll hold you to that when they bring the bill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, with the bring the bill. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you French had one as well, didn't they? Yeah. 
How much lean angle before you start losing grip and you could slide and it was like it was stupid. It was about 60 degrees. Massive lean angle, you know, even in the wet. Yeah, it was a, it was unbelievable the difference in it says. Because basically the video was saying that a lot of people's errors what happened on the road. They said it's their error. They said it's not the road condition. They said you know they said it's quite surprising how much your bike can do before your bike is at fault. And that's what the video was about. But he, lovely, thank you. But even knowing that, it still don't take away your your own personal, you know. You know, and I think at the end of the day, I don't think it's a bad thing to be a bit wary. Because I think if you go the other way, is when you get yourself in trouble, don't you? Where you think, you know what I mean? You go outside the boundary, and I'd rather be inside the boundary, yeah. 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 That's not to be nasty, that's just the truth, mate. Thank you very much. Cheers. So goose is the same, he's, he won't eat anything vegetable. Nothing vegetable salad. Salad cream and coleslaw. I like my salad, I don't mind it actually. You know a bit more if you want. How are you doing? That's it, we're done. We've been hoofed out in the pub. We have. We've now got to try and find the tent in the pitch black. You got a torch? Yeah, I have. Well, the bikes are still there. That's a bonus. Tents are still there. That's a bonus. Oh, you're going to escort me to my door, are you, Vic? I'm going to do half a bloody job. I don't know, has it rained? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've had a bit of rain, you know, mate. What? I'm all right here, bud. I've got a torch just inside the door. Yeah. Victor, it's been a pleasure. Yeah, it's been good, eh? We've had a lovely, lovely night in the pub. Yeah. Had many drinks. We've had a nice tea. We've talked crap for six and a half hours. <laughs> yeah. If I'm after conversation, it's good. <laughs> right then, pal. All the best. I'll see you in the morning. I'll listen out if you're whimpering in the night. <laughs> oh, and you call goose. I'll see you in the morning, brother. Right. Let's get this thing zipped up. Motorway is tucked up in bed. You okay, Vic? Let me know some warm. You ain't got the eater on? I'll tell you what, mate. You're like Rambo, you are. You what? You got your mankini on? Rock and roll, brother. Vic, if your heater packs up, you can't come to my tent. you got to get to the caravan next to us. Yeah, there's no room for spooning in here, mate. I don't have room for a teaspoon in here. Never mind for you trying to get in bed in your love junction. Happy birthday, Goose. Goose is. Fi what is it? How old is he today, Vic? 59 or 60? Yeah. 
Oh, 61. Happy 61st birthday to Goose. 61 today. You don't look a day over 62. He's had an hard life. And I think he was brought up. I think he was dragged up. I'm sliding down the bed. Tell you what, that heat is working a treat. See you in the morning. And it's now about midnight. I've got to say, it ain't that cold. Considering they were saying it was going to be about zero degrees tonight. It ain't cold at all. But listen. Made it through the night. We survived. It was alright, wasn't it, Vic? Yeah. Too warm. I mean, we're here just to see the sunrise. the sun let's go and brush my teeth here we are Vic yep here we are we're having morning, breakfast all. breakfast and coffee there's the bikes we have to keep switching the eaters on and off don't we because it weren't it weren't that cold and he did the eater on all night long. But we did. We just have to keep switching them off because it was it was alright actually. Well let's wait for our breakfast. Well here we are. Whew, yeah. Pretty nice. <laughs> Two wheezing old men. Oh no. It's a poison over there, man. They're trying to turn that box round. Yeah. All loaded up as well. Next problem is getting on the bloody thing. I oh, know. But are you ready? No. <laughs> Jesus. You be alright getting on yours? Yeah, yeah. Mine's a lot lower. After three. One, two, three, go! <coughs> go on. You are, you are. <laughs> Hold on. Hang on, I can't. That's it. Oh, you won't? Yeah, yeah, you've done it. Whew, okay. Cheers. Yeah. Oh, I might not get off it at the motor oak. <laughs> <laughs> well, then. Are we ready, brother? Yep. Yeah. Nice and steady now on the way home. Did you get your Thunderfoot? Yeah. I actually thought of that. Steady down here now. That's it, back break home, mate. Well. Uh, uh, you say that, but I got my feet out, so I couldn't. Oh no. Okay. I couldn't get my foot up then for me back brake, so to take its <laughs> chance. <clears throat> right then, old bush, thank you very much. Yeah. We'll see you again. We'll have to bring the boys back here. Yeah, missed out on that trip, that was good yep, fun. That they did indeed. Okay, we are clear. Clear, yep. So this is the lovely little village of Callowend. Showing one degree, so it's a little bit colder today, Rick. Is it one? Yeah. I yeah. thought it was more than that. At least the bikes well, have had a run as well, that's the thing, that's isn't it? it? Well, we did it, Vic. 
We have camped at Christmas. Yep. That goes to show me, it doesn't matter how cold it is really, if you've got a yeah. fan eater in that little yeah. tent. You can do it, it's possible. <laughs> well, this is me and Vic, me and Vic, signing off, yeah, wishing you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, this is our Christmas video, so if we don't see you before, have a good Christmas everybody, have a good New Year, and we'll see you in 2021, 12 of us winter camping next year. Oosh! <laughs>